a lot of Anna, are you gonna take over the world? Uh, maybe. I mean, do you want me to? Because I can. What does the fox say? Yep, 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 yep. What does the fox say? What does the fox say? Look, it's Hi, me! It's me! All right, pop quiz. What is the most widespread carnivore on Earth? Wolves. Out of all of those animals in the world, which one managed to spread further and thrive in more places than any other? This is rhetorical, by the way. Comment your answer. I'm actually curious. All boats in? Okay, good. It's the red fox. I <gasps> don't know when it happened, but somewhere in the history of Earth, red there was a subplot foxes. where the fox took over the world, and they have not let up since. Today, there's about 23 flavors of fox seasoning this big ball of dirt and water, <gasps> with well over 40 subspecies on the rock. Oh, there's one. And they are everywhere. From there's griefing so gardens in the suburbs, to pickpocketing polar bears in the north. This is me trying to pickpocket some big dude on the street. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> this is me trying to pickpocket some big dude for his fucking candy or something. North to murking koalas in Australia. Trust and believe we gonna get to that. You can find some Vulpes variant virtually anywhere in the world that isn't the ocean or Antarctica. And the biggest flex of the foxes wow. is the red fox. Despite being in the weight they're class so of a small dog, no other mammalian carnivore owns more real estate. And even though they're invited to Damn. a carnivore cookout, technically they're omnivores, <coughs> which means Crunch. they eat, and I do not say this lightly, everything. Rabbits, rodents, Hello birds, from Canada, Smugalana Love. Frogs, worms, fish, Hi. crabs, clams, insects, lizards, eggs, fruits, plants, garbage, cat food, dog food, carry on, and I don't mean the bag, cat and food. actual feces. Literally the Ew. whole thing is, if it doesn't kill them first, they'll- Wait, these things eat shit? Gross. Eat Foxes are also able to exploit Ew. the Earth's magnetic Nasty. fields in order to catch bodies. You've probably seen this thing foxes do where they'll Wee. swan dive into a pile of snow. So cute. It's called mousing, oh. and foxes are able to use magnetic fields as this kind of internal GPS, and they cross-reference yeah. that with a broken sense of hearing Wee. to figure out exactly where their target is and exactly where they land a critical hit. Foxes pretty much have a real-life wall hack, and they're one of the few animals to hunt Oh like my god, this. they're so they're cute. They're also smart enough to memorize the migration patterns of certain species. Can you use magnetic field too, Alana? Yeah, that's how I get cooked chatters in my chat. I magnetically pull them into my chat. ...of birds, meaning they know the exact time to pull up for free and easy protein. Foxes also manage to figure out the same with some turtles, since timing it right after they lay their eggs and peace out means low effort omelets. Call that over Ooh, easy. Tasty. And arguably, no place has foxed around and found out more <clears throat> than Australia. Because <clears throat> way back in the 1800s, Europeans airdropped red foxes to the land down under for the sport <clears throat> of fox hunting. Evidently, the foxes weren't about to go down like that. To the point where a couple years ago, it's estimated that over 7 million foxes exist in Australia as a perpetual yeah, middle finger to the settlers that don't right there. Lightning. Some unhinged foxes even learn to climb trees in order to snatch baby koalas and sugar gliders, proving that any animal that gets introduced to Australia will inevitably become a problem. And now, foxes and feral cats are like the Kobe and Shaq of putting native Australian animals on a shirt. Yeah, that ability sucks. to adapt means foxes are- they, they, Foxes and cats ruined Australia, and I think New Zealand as well. ...are one of the very few predators that do better in cities. Not as well, not almost as well, no, better. Today, the highest density of foxes living in Britain are shacking it up in the city. In some neighborhoods, you'll find twice as many fox families than you would in Look the that face. And it could never hurt times you. as many than in some desolate moors. And even though they get straight up bullied by bigger canines, foxes don't rely on a pack structure the same way wolves do. And they have enough pretty privileged they're to so dodge so everyone seems to have for coyotes. It also helps that they're nocturnal and move like introverts. Mama Fox will go out of her way to clean the den area so well that the average person can walk right past it and not even realize there's a whole family underground. Whoa. And just like with birds, foxes will study and memorize the schedule of humans in the area and only come out when it's least active. They'll even oh, take advantage of garbage schedules so they know exactly when to come root through your trash. And they'll even take note of what times you often feed your pets so that they can steal their share. And you may We used to have to hide cat food and dog food when we left it outside for our cats to eat when they weren't there at home. And hedgehogs and foxes would steal their food. Never even notice. Depending on where you live, you can probably count on one hand how many foxes you've seen in your neighborhood, even if you've lived around them your entire life. 
and lucky yep. for them, they happen to be just cute enough to not have to worry about getting their They're existence so nuked like some of their predators. Run! Speaking of which, let's talk about the many enemies of the fox. You got wolves, coyotes, cougars, lynxes, birds of prey, bears, wolverines. I'm not afraid of older women. They're afraid of me. Cars and many, many more. Because the one bad thing about being a fox is everything them. on the census either wants to eat you or wants to kill you because you eat the same things. In fact, the first and sometimes last <coughs> enemy they'll make is their family. Fox cubs will fight their siblings off rip in order to establish a hierarchy. And it's not the so cute Disney cute. play fighting I used them. to think it was. 20% of fox kids born will never leave the den. It's just straight violence yeah. out the womb. I can't even say it's on site since baby foxes live the Helen Keller experience for the first they two weeks stink. of their life. Lucky for them, foxes like often make chat. full life and bring up the kids together. I mentioned this in the Father's Day episode last video, but fox fathers will hide food around the den in these little pantries in order to teach his kids how to find food for themselves. Oh, that I want is you to so keep that cute. pantry thing in mind. We're going to come back to that. Fox cubs have a couple months of a grace period before they have to go out and figure out life on their own. Lucky for Look them, they're part of the most their legs are. group of animals you'll ever see. Like, did you know foxes can climb trees? No, I mean- They look like freaking cats. They're so cute, man. You can, like, fully scale that, John. The gray fox oh, has been seen God. ascending over 70 feet up into a tree, and they're one of the few foxes that flex for oh. claws, which allows gray foxes to avoid conflict with predators like coyotes. <laughs> Go ahead and ask cheetahs how important that is. Tree climbing only proves that foxes are just cat software marrying dog hardware. A cat dog, if you will. And it shows that there isn't a lot of real estate on Earth that a fox can't claim. And no fox proves this more than my personal favorite, the Arctic fox. Is this <gasps> Him is favorite, chat! I'm his favorite! He has zero business surviving out here. Not only is it cold enough to get one shot by wind. Cute until you hear the noises they make. I make great noises. Shut the hell up. The Arctic fox also has ops like wolves and polar bears. Oh my goodness. About. Look at me. I'm so majestic. Both of them will not hesitate to eat a fun-sized fox. And it really be your own kind since another unlikely I menace to I freaking love it. Fox. Their little ears. Ugh. Ow, it's so cute. is the red fox. Because as small as they are, the red fox is still <gasps> two to three times bigger than their snowy wow. cousins. And yes, red foxes will 100% murk and eat their weaker relatives if it means surviving. Yep. So you think it returns for any pint-sized predator that even tries out here. Well, about that. Don't think for a second Arctic foxes don't have their tricks too. They'll strategically follow polar bears for miles just to clean off whatever they don't finish. Yep, I do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I steal your snacks while you're not looking, chat. You know, chat, when you're done with a meal, I'm there. We're talking about a house cat size me. fox living food from the literal biggest land predator on the planet uh, while also managing to stay far enough to avoid that. getting their consciousness <laughs> confiscated permanently. These baby <laughs> face survivors will even resort hey. to scavenging the polar bear's food except after it's already been digested and taken the south exit. Yeah, they're oh. a different kind of potty mouth. But the Arctic fox has a secret to never having um, These Q-tip terriers have a pantry system um, that will bury any extra food in a network of underground <laughs> dens, which can stretch across 20 miles. And it's these food supplies that keeps the Arctic fox's pulse going in the dead of winter. Um, time, researchers uncovered a fox cellar containing four rabbits and about a dozen they get eggs. Nothing. Oh, it's hoarding on a thousand, but it's what keeps them Euro stepping death and ghosting the Grim Reaper. This They're so cute, though. Has one Look more at them. Too. Coming in all white helps the glacier jockey cosplay Whoa. as a snowdrift in order to avoid predators. But once the sun finally makes an appearance like an absentee father on tax day, the longer daylight triggers hormonal changes. Changes that causes them to change coats. Wow! Look at that! Wow! Very cool! So cool! They go from whiter than a party in the Hamptons to a thinner coat that matches the tundra the Arctic turns into. And it's nice. all these abilities that allows the chameleon of foxes to live in one of the most unlivable places on Earth. And so does the smallest fox in the world. On the other side of the spectrum, the venom <gasps> fox survives in a very different kind of Look desert. at their ears are massive. It's the smallest in the world and could probably get bodied by a chihuahua. Those massive ears are good for three things. Increasing their overall surface area to help keep them cool, the same way elephants these are do. So helping cute. them pinpoint the insects, lizards, and rodents <clears throat> on this grocery <clears throat> list even while they're underground. And for looking absolutely adorable doing it. Like I said, foxes are broken, especially since fennecs can live off the moisture they get from food and by licking the dew from their dens. Not only that, but their <gasps> kidneys are actually designed to function off very little actual water. Wow. Making this travel-sized fox one of the few animals able to survive in the desert without drinking actual water. And as That's it crazy. And as out from life after about three days of a water fast. In fact, where the fennec fox may never have to drink at all, the average adult should drink about 48 ounces a day. That's just over two of these. 
which can often feel like a chore, but Air Up's flavor oh, pods makes it way easier. Oh, not the freaking Air Up! Fuck me! These pods actually manage to trick your brain by using scent flavors traveling uh, to your brain to replicate the taste of whatever pod you chose. Not Both another Air Up! just drinking plain water. <laughs> just fill the bottle up, pull the pod to activate the flavor, hold the bottle upright in. Yeah, that's, I literally that's have water it. and My lemon water right now. Food, it. But you have a variety of options like watermelon, peach, cucumber, orange, apple, and a bunch or more. Or you could just again, drink water, no chat. Calories, no sugar. It's just you gaslighting your brain since about 80% of taste is actually dependent on smell. Now, I've never had a problem drinking enough water, but after deciding to try to cut down on sodas and juices, I can honestly say Arab has come in clutch more than a few times. And you know this isn't just an ad. I literally tell y'all to drink water in every single video. And now I, can I do drink that. water, so sure but I don't need Air this. Up many flavor pods using the link in the description use the code casual geo 15 for 15 percent off and like Chat, always gamer sure subs. <laughs> hydration isn't a problem for a pocket-sized sand pup oh and by the way since their so kidneys cute. are always on desert mode fenix fox pee is super concentrated and smells like pee pee le pew and since foxes Ew, will pee on any surface gross. two hours with a fennec under your roof and your house will smell like a skunk orgy so yeah don't be confused with good pets you shouldn't confuse them for a pale fox either. that's offensive to them they look similar but the pale fox is slightly bigger has a smaller range and is overall smaller the ears dude with a fennec and if you take a quick trip a couple hundred miles down south you'll find the bat-eared fox Unlike the oh my goodness, they do look like the bats. Family, their meal plan contains almost entirely insects, with most of their protein coming from Ooh, termites. Those fancy. satellite dish ears allows it to eavesdrop on termite affairs before it packs them. They've even gone ahead and invested in extra teeth to help with their termite terminating tendencies. Living in packs, usually made of a mating pair and their children, kind of the same way wolf packs work. It's like a fox that slept through the lecture on how to fox 101. Oh, look at those hair! Oh my god, look at those fur! There are 12 Hello species there. that are in the title of true fox, and four of them we've already mentioned. The red fox, the arctic, the fennec, and the pale fox. Another true fox is the Tibetan fox. Oh no, the resting bitch face fox? I love this guy! I'm serious, that's exactly what they look like. Like a reborn human This is me, by the way. Sweet. Or like nature got drunk and tried redrawing foxes strictly from memory and then uploaded it as a dare. Why do they it's look the so stupid? They look like my Sheba, sort of. They kind of look like my sheep, but they have a permanent resting bitch face. While looking you dead in the face. A picture's worth a thousand He's words. Like, hmm. Every image of a Tibetan fox tells hmm. a story of apathy, indifference, and a splash of contempt. Now you might be wondering why this fox looks like an AI-generated renaissance painting. Some say it's to help them cope with a windy environment. Some say it's because their Wait, skulls what? are specialized for carnivory. I say God or nature, whoever did this to them has a twisted sense of humor. Evidently, the Tibetan fox- I ain't laughing cause shit ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> does not. Also, you know the whole coyote badger team up that we all love so much and can't get enough of? Aww. Apparently, the Tibetan fox has the same type of arrangement with Himalayan brown bears, where the bears <gasps> will dig out pika burrows, that's a pika, and force them to run on land, where they get chased down by the fox. The oh, that's fox so isn't cool. the digger the bear is, but the fox has better foot speed, so like any true dynamic duo, they cover each other's weaknesses. Even if that's one of them so looks neat. allergic to oxygen. I'm gonna run through a couple more. He looks like a cereal mascot. Yeah! Like fo foxes, frosted flakes. They look like a cross between a cat that was like AI generated and a fucking wolf. Foxes, real quick. We have Blanford's fox found in the Middle East and Central Asia. Wow, They're look at that tail. The of foxes, Damn. able to scale anything short of 90 degrees and able to do the equivalent of a 10 foot box jump by leaping onto ledges. There's the Kit Fox of the Southwest, <gasps> also known as the San Joaquin oh, Fox. They're, and they're so basically cute. the American edition of the Fennec Fox. We can't forget about the Corsac Fox of the Mongolian Steppe and Central Asian deserts. Then you got the Cape Fox they're of so South America boxes. and the slightly bigger Indian based Bengal Fox. I was not kidding, unless your neighbors with the cast of Happy Feet, there's likely more foxes in your area than hot singles just dying to meet you. Foxes come in so many forms that they even have their equivalent of a shiny Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you uh, the Cross Fox. <gasps> it's actually a red fox with partial- Wait, I thought these were fake. I remember one of these boomers on my friends list on my Facebook a long time ago reposted this and I, I, I was like, this has to be fake. Like photoshopped, cause like, it doesn't look real. Melanism. You know, the same thing that turns leopards and jaguars into black panthers. They're more common I in Canada. Was a where up to a third of the red fox population oh my has been melanated they're real. Skin. And even rarer than them are silver foxes, which Ooh. is just a red fox with complete melanism. Gang. Because, yeah, red foxes aren't always red. Gang, gang. Like I said, foxes exist in many forms, but there's one final form that is so saw grumpy. Coming. Pets. That's right. There's a population of domestic foxes in the world as we speak. Basically, the Would Lord not recommend guy, it. Dmitry Belyaev, asked a question. 
how did we go from this apex predator to a lapdog? So he and graduate Ludmila Trut tried to see if they could replicate the wolf domestication process, except with foxes. They created a fox farm with 100 vixens and 30 males, and which foxes wow. got to make depended on which ones were the most tolerant of humans. The most human-friendly foxes fornicated, and this process repeated itself for the next generation. Essentially, they were selecting for traits that would make them the most sex. good for human companionship. And as the experiment wore on, the foxes went from not fearful of people to tolerant of people to actively seeking out people. Later generations Aww, would develop so an affinity cute. towards humans, sniffing and licking people, Hello. and even replacing the aggressive yips Hello. and shrieks with more passive whimpers and pants. But what we weren't expecting was, as their personalities and attitudes towards people changed, so did their bodies. The more people-friendly foxes sported droopy ears and curled-up tails, which oh is pretty different from the God. upright ears and downwards-pointed tails of their wild cousins. And they after got curly tails. playing God with foxes, we now live in a world where you can adopt and own a pet silver fox. Now here's oh a part of the goodness. video where I tell you why you ain't ready for that. They poop no. and everywhere, and there isn't a surface in the uh, house they can get to. Ah, he pissing his coffee! Shit. They scream, especially at night. You'll be finding out what the fox says while you're trying to count sheep. Ah, Not to mention you're probably going to sacrifice furniture for their happiness. Ah, that combination adds up to a good chance you're up at 3 a.m. cleaning fox feces off the top of your fridge while cursing yourself for not just getting a hamster. You can probably yep. find a way to make it work if you do the research and you're committed enough, but, and I'm gonna say this as many times as it's applicable, if you're that willing to sacrifice your sleep, sanity, and social life for nah, screaming, pooping, duration I don't want a domesticated fox. Because foxes are great wild animals, but they can really be some mid-as-hell pets. But that's gonna do it for this video. Friendly reminder that I do have a book out. Chat, don't get domesticated foxes. Can kill you. Link in the description if you're interested. But Shout it's so cute. It's not worth video. it, Shout man. Shout out to you all for watching this video. Drink water, wear sunscreen, touch grass, hug your parents, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Oh yeah, Aye. happy birthday to me. I love you. Are you my pussy potato? Are you my pussy potato? Hi. Hi. Yo. Hi. So cute. Squeal, 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 squeal. Oh, so cute. Collapsers, chat, collapsers.